Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're here, back at Hickory, North Carolina, back at the Home Forge. Let me show you around. So here on this rack, we've got plenty of extra materials. We've got some leather stuff, leather carving tools. Of course, some extra belts. We've got an overflow of some micarta handle material. And it, that's not all. The thing's just getting started. The saw blade is actually a pretty cool story. They're typically made out of like L6, which is a pretty good carbon steel. But the guy I bought it from, he had it in a pawn shop and was going to paint a mural on it. I said, heck no, I'm going to put it to some good use. So here it is, making plenty of chef's knives later, and it's a keeper, that's for sure. Hi, I'm Matt Berry, and welcome to my shop. Here is probably the second most important tool in the shop. This is my belt grinder. This is my hammer collection. When I was young, I had a weekend job working for a tool collection, and they paid me in hammers. Probably the most important tool in my shop, this is my power hammer because I'm kind of old and I don't have gigantic arms. This is my homemade forge. Gets really hot, so that's great. This is my 365-pound Sawyer's anvil from France that I just could not resist. I am an anvil-aholic. This is my heat treat setup. I'm red-green colorblind, so I love to use kilns because that way I don't have to judge red in the, in the blades. Next, I've got plenty of steel to work with. 1080 and even 516. We got 1075 here. We've got even got some 440, which is good for a stainless sand my. Got plenty of handle materials here, and, and as well as kydex for some quick sheaths, things like that. We've got all the way from burl blocks here, all the way to some micarta and even some liners as well. This is the drilling section where we keep the drill bits, our drill press. And you know, you gotta have holes in your knife to hold on the handle scales. Have a variety of respirators. We got the drill press, we've got some rivets and uh, some eyelets for the Kydex sheaths. Pretty much the general things that you would drill holes for is right here at this workstation. These are my hot blade gloves. I can hold blades up to, theoretically up to about 1,000 degrees, but uh, I usually won't hold anything over 600 degrees for more than a few seconds. There's my spear from the last episode. Figured that was the right way to Hang it, it's part of history now. That's an old Russian poster uh, telling people not to drink. That's actually my cat skeleton. My dad was a biologist at Wesleyan University. So that's my shop here in Middlefield. It's my happy place.